Hello again, friends. I've got a short one for you for a change. Been doing laundry and cleaning house today, and my old back is hurting pretty bad, and my old tummy's kind of hungry, so I'm going to give you this short one, then I'm going to go out for lunch. There's no snow, no rain. Roads are clear. Going to enjoy me a good lunch, then I'll come back here and do some more housework. Got snow coming tomorrow. Supposed to be a lot of snow. And they keep changing the forecast. Sometimes it says it's for three days, sometimes for two days, and sometimes for one day. So I don't know, but it's showing a lot coming. Just don't know how long it's going to keep snowing. So I won't get out during that. Uh, the, the truck will be put up in the garage and I'll be put up in the house. Y'all, Satan is so strong. God is relinquishing control of everything over to him in preparation for the tribulation, which is just around the corner. And you know what happens just prior to the commencement of the tribulation? The church, the true believers, are going to be raptured out of here. There's a couple of things I'm working on, but this one God just gave me while I was talking to him and working. And it's a short one. So let me give it to you. This is from Romans chapter 3. And I give it to you, friends, because I'm concerned for the souls of most people in the world. There are so many who, like me, claim to be Christian, but were not Christian for many years. I was 51 years of age before I really believed and got saved. There's nothing that we can do or have to do to be saved except believe. Our precious Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, did everything that was necessary in order for us to be saved. And all you got to do is believe that. Let me read you God's word here. <clears throat> Romans chapter 3, and I'm going to start in verse 22. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all that means everybody, every single person. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The glory of God does not allow sin in. Therefore, we got to get rid of sin. The only way we can do that is through the perfect, spotless, sacrifice of Jesus Christ who never sinned at the cross his death burial and resurrection believe on that my friends and you'll be saved for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption of that is in Christ Jesus. And the redemption will only be through Christ Jesus. There is no other way to be redeemed except by the blood of Jesus. Whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness because there's no way we ever could be righteous. But Jesus is, and he was, and he always will be. 
So whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remissions of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of of him which believeth in Jesus. Are you getting all this, friends? It's all about us believing in Jesus. Jesus was the only perfect sacrifice for the remission of our sins because he is the only person who ever lived on planet Earth without sinning. So he freely gave up himself, his body, his blood as a sacrifice for our sins. All you've got to do is believe that he did all the work, everything necessary for us to be saved. To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. We cannot boast in our salvation because there's nothing we did to get it. There's nothing we could do ever to earn it. It is a gift from Jesus to us. <clears throat> so there's no way we can boast about our salvation. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds, the works of the law. We're saved by grace, through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes. Yes, of the Gentiles also. You all know the other scriptures I'm going to share with you. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 1 through 4. I mean, I'm sorry. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4. <coughs> shows us where Jesus died for our sins on the cross. He was buried. He came back to life and arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven where he is today. And soon, friend, he's coming back for his bride, the true church, the ones that really, truly have faith in him and in what he did in order that we may be saved. And Acts 16, 31 says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And I just read to you Romans 3, verses 22 through 29. I want you, whoever you are, whatever nationality you are, whatever religion you're associated with, to know my Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody, nobody comes to Father God except through Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you, my friend, whoever you are, wherever you are, will be saved.
God bless you all.